It's an iconic storefront at the corner of King and Pensacola Streets. With the internet, big box retailers, and now the pandemic, you might wonder how does a retail shop like this stay in business for almost seven decades? The owner says perseverance and good customer service. The vacuum cleaner center is tonight's hardworking Hawaii. It's been in the same spot since 1953. The vacuum cleaner center is filled to the brim with practically every vacuum and vacuum part on the market. And if you break it, they can fix it. Uh, 936, sir. Barry Schneider is Hawaii's king of vacuum cleaners. He took over the crown from his dad, Norman, who started the family business. A real hard worker. And in fact, uh, when he was uh, first here, before he got married, he roomed with some other uh, young men up on uh, Round Top, and they called him Spook because he was always out working and, uh, you know, hardly ever home. <laughs> That's what you got to do when you run a family business. That's exactly right. <laughs> That hard work paid off. Some customers have been patrons for decades. Actually, I drove by here the other day and I'm like, yes, they're still there. I mean, I could order online, yeah, you know, but I think it's important that we all support local businesses, especially what's going on right now. The internet and their big box competitors have made staying in business more challenging. But Barry believes his customer service is why they've actually thrived during the pandemic. First week when there was the uh, shutdown uh, was our busiest week of, the, of that year. So uh, people, I guess, went home and uh, got home and started vacuuming. How long have you had your vacuum? Long time. <laughs> ancient. Ancient, <probably>. yeah. <laughs> you know, we consider um, every customer is part of our ohana. And um, it, our success has to do with, first of all, versification, uh, you know, dealing with all brands uh, and no matter what your needs are. Barry says not all vacuums are created equal. You really get what you pay for. His favorite is this filter queen. It can even suck up this heavy metal bolt. Back when I started here in 1977, almost all vacuums were made in the United States. And no matter how much you spent on it, um, you can expect the vacuum generally to last 30 to 40 years. But nowadays, you're lucky if the vacuum lasts you five years. So if you're in the market for a vacuum that will last, Barry is there to help. A pack of three for $8.95. Okay. He wants to say thank you to the locals who have kept his little shop going for almost 70 years. You know, we just uh, want to hopefully continue uh, being in this location is, I think, one of the most important things. <laughs> well, when it's uh, time for a new one, please come see us. Okay. Thank you. Now, just like many other businesses, the vacuum cleaner center is now dealing with the supply chain issues, shipping delays. But overall, the owner told me that the pandemic hasn't hurt them in a negative way. He really feels that their old school style and that face-to-face -face interaction is why they're doing so well for all these years. Oh, they seem like such friendly, friendly individuals. Yeah, and like... when, when we went to film this, they were busy. We kept having to pause the interview. They looked those really customers busy. Were coming in. Wow. Yeah. Apparently, That's... people have a lot of old vacuums that are still running and need fixing. I have a Roomba, but you know, <laughs> if I want to go get another vacuum, I know where to go yeah. now.